Hello and welcome to another TV Central podcast. I'm Aaron Ryan. Today we're talking to the host of Beauty and the Geek Australia, Bernard Curry, ahead of its debut Thursday night on Channel 7. Bernard, thanks for joining me here at TV Central. No, thanks for having me, Aaron. Cheers. All right. Well, Beauty and the Geek has a uh, tried and true formula that has led to strong ratings across two seasons. There is a twist in this third season. Tell us about that change and why the team decided to shake things up this season. Uh, yeah, well, look, we're we're, re- we're really happy with how the the um, the show's done in the first two years. It's, um, we, we're we're thrilled to be to be back for the third season, and uh, we're hoping it's going to be as big, if not the biggest success as it was um, in the last two seasons. And we try and we try and mix things up um, in in each season. And last last season we had the um, the twist, which was uh, a, a, a twins beauties. One beauty was uh, became a twin. So uh, the, the geek had uh, was, was with two girls. This year, yeah, we've got a, we've got a great twist, which is um, a male beauty and a female geek, which is uh, their names are Helen and Troy, and that is a complete accident, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they they're set to kind of shake things up again a bit this year with um, you know the the inclusion of, of a male beauty. Obviously, all all of the female beauties within the house. Um, are going to be um, kind of paying close attention to him in, in more ways than one, and um, and obviously the female geek is kind of um, an interesting take on on the sort of the the, the idea that 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 a, that a geek doesn't necessarily mean that you're that you have to be a male, um, you know, highly intelligent but but maybe slightly um, socially awkward uh, person. Um, <clears throat> so. The, um, the the female geek who's uh, Helen is is really great. She's a, she's she's amazing, and she she does have uh, a natural affinity with um, with the other geeks in the house as well. I didn't uh, actually get that Helen Troy uh, Troy thing until you mentioned it. There you go. Um, for, the, yeah. for the past two seasons, the, the mix of beauty and geeks has been fairly sort of stereotyped. But I mean that is the point of the show. So with the casting of a female geek this season, we have a a female version of the usual geeks that have been part of the show. However, I noticed with the male beauty, Troy, that was not really the case. Whilst he appears to be a good-looking beauty, he does not seem to come across as sort of that stereo, as stereotypical as the female beauties. He's, you know, being a bit clueless, not academically driven, etc., etc. His profile came across as, uh, as him being rather sensitive, down-to-earth, and quite articulate. Was I reading into that profile too much, or is he, in fact, not the stereotypical beauty the show has previously brought. Oh, uh, look! I think I th- I don't know whether that's actually true. I, I I'm pretty sure that once you start watching the show and you see you see a bit of Troy um, coming into it, I, I think you're going to find that he does uh, fit that stereotype quite well. Um, yeah. Obviously, he is a very good-looking guy. Um, you're right; he is a sensitive um, sensitive kind of guy, though. He he does. Um, you know he does uh, attend to the to, to the to the beauty's needs as well as the geeks. I think he does he does actually draw a natural affinity with the geeks just because he's a bloke and and also because they kind of look up to him in many ways. Mm. Uh, but I think academically, yeah, I, I I do think he's um you know he he does fit that kind of he does fit that bill that the uh, that, that the beauty's kind of in terms of that stereotype of the be- beauties that. You know that that's one of the reasons why the show does exist is to kind of break down those stereotypes. But yeah, he's he's probably not so academically gifted as as um, many other people, and, and you know sort of and some of the things that he says um, do, do come across as quite inane. But um, mm. he does say them with a genuinely warm heart and uh, and kind of um, you know and kind of a, a, a nice attitude. Just wondering if the show, is it going to turn into all the beauties swooning for, for Troy and, and perhaps changing the dynamic of the show, or are people going to be surprised about what, what sort of develops uh, across the episodes? Well, I think people will be surprised, actually, to be honest with you. I, um, the, certainly on, on, on face value and, and um, um, when, you, when, you first, uh, when you first look at it, you, um, <clears throat> you, do, uh, you do see the girls, once, once he enters the house, the girls... Kind of, you can see them getting a bit excited about um, uh, about this this uh, this guy being there, and 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 it you know looks as though they're kind of um, you know they they they're going to they're going to be sort of interested in him in an amorous kind of way. Um, but then, through the course of the season, you know the, when he just becomes part of the part of the um, part of the furniture, and um, and 
the, the you, you, it is really surprising to see that um, you know, and, and a good number of the geeks actually do get a lot of attention from the beauties in terms of their um, in terms of you know amorous intention, and it's re- it, we we have seen quite a bit of romance um, blossom in the course of the uh, of the journey of these beauties and geeks. So it'll be interesting to see how much that um, how much that plays out, and um, but it is good to see that you know obviously the the beauties aren't not just focusing on Troy just because of his looks. Well, despite these, uh, you know, the twist in the show, is the game plan for the show essentially the same? Pairing up beauties and geeks, performing challenges, and and having an elimination each week. Yes, that's that's exactly the same. We're, we're exactly the same format. There's a few, um, there's a few little shifts of of, um, of format for the show, um, but nothing. Not, there's not there's no big big kind of um, changes to the show. It's still the same format. Um, uh, Helen and Troy will will compete as a team, so they. The only thing is that they don't they didn't get to choose uh who their partner was whereas the previous the other beauties and geeks got to um got to choose which partners that they uh they continue the journey with right. um and the but the Helen and Troy do yeah they they just uh, are always going to be um be um competing as a couple and yeah then Helen will compete with the geeks and then Troy will compete with in the beauty challenges so it does create a little bit of a point of difference because there's one obviously one female geek and a male beauty but um it does uh yeah it's it's it, the, the the same format exists and and uh, the the competition remains uh, the same look we obviously don't have time to go through each contestant but just tell us about some of um i don't know i guess the more memorable personalities or attributes of some of the beauties or geeks well we we do see yeah look the um the some of the more memorable beauties and geeks. Uh, look, I, I really like Jimmy, um, who's one of the geeks. I think he's I think he's a terrific, um, terrific guy. He's a really nice, warm-hearted guy. And but it was also he's a, he's a very funny guy, and and, um, and and he's all he always sort of plays it in the spirit of the game. And and, and you know he's um, he's just a he's a really he's a magnetic guy. And I I kind of uh, I really enjoyed watching him. Um, you know his journey. Um, uh, and and you know his his partner also is is um, uh, Mackenzie and she is uh, she's she's terrific talent as well and uh, um, you know there's a there's a bit of uh, she she's involved with a bit of romance within the, within the uh, mansion as well uh, which is great um, you know there there's some other uh, some other people to look out for Lachlan is one of, is one of the um, one of the other geeks who's um, you know an aspiring politician and. Um, you know he's he's a terrific guy as well. So yeah, there's there's some really some really great geeks in this in this cast, and and the, and the beauties are also fantastic. Uh, just as, as I guess a small observation is is there more beauties and geeks this year? There seems to be more people in the house this time round. Or uh, there are it? yes, and it's actually it, we, it's an extended season this year as well. So last <laughs> season we uh, we had um, I think it was eight eight beauties and geeks. Um, and we, but we we condensed the the series down to six episodes, and this year we have ten beauties and ten geeks, and uh, we have got ten episodes. So it's it's a really nice nice thing to be able to, to extend the um the the play of the show to to, to because I think I think the 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 um the, the dynamic and relationships that that are formed within the mansion uh, are explored further and deeper having a longer longer season so it's it's um it's a really good thing to series to, add, to have more more contestants and more episodes excellent well um just just two questions just about yourself you're now based in LA with your wife and uh, 15 month old um how is LA going for you and uh, what are you up to LA is going really well which um um I haven't um <clears throat> got myself a job as yet but um I I do feel as though uh, you know, I'm I'm in the right position, the right place to um, to make something happen and to forge a career that um, that I that I'm happy with. So um, it's it's one of those um, it's one of those things. I've just got to keep chipping away at it, and and hopefully something will happen. And and fortune smiles in my direction. But uh, you know, they say you've got to be in the right place at the right time. And I feel as though we've got we've got um, one of those two. We're in the right place for this to happen, and we just need the right time to to uh, happen. And just a, a little interesting thing, I mean I noticed in um, your profile that your your son's name is Fox, is, is that right? I mean that's a pretty cool yeah, name. Fox. 
How did you? How did your wife and yourself come up with that one? Um, look, we we just we wanted uh, we wanted to name our son something interesting and unique, but um, without sounding too, you know, kind of wacky like Agamemnon or something like that. But <laughs> um, we 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 chose the the name Fox because uh, I, you know it's it's it, it's short and sweet. It's got a good, you know, kind of uh, it's, it's a punchy sounding name without yeah. without sounding too weird and off the charts. So, um, uh, you know, there's there's a, there's a few people, but I, I don't actually know anyone called Fox. So it's a, it's a unique name, but I think it's I think it's a strong sounding name. Yeah, I just I just saw that and thought that was quite interesting. Very cool name. Um, yeah. Look, last question. Back to the show. For those that perhaps have um, not tuned into the show in the first two seasons or have only had just glimpses, what can viewers expect over the next uh, well ten episodes? Look, I, in, in an overall sense, viewers can expect um, you know like a lot of a lot of great drama. Um, you know, some some wonderful laughs and some um, really really big and colourful. Uh, challenges, and and you know they can they can expect to see these these this this really wonderful journey that these beauties and geeks all go on, and um and this this incredible transformation. I think that's the essence of the show is to see these people put into a situation that is unlike any other, and it's an experience unlike they'll ever have before or again, and and to see the the kind of transformation that they undergo, and and obviously the uh, the makeovers for the geeks is a very big part of that, and but but it's just about a, a general uh, transformation that they that the, each of these contestants will affect in in each other, and um, you know that's it's a really nice and w- a wonderful journey to go on with these to travel on with these people and to laugh along with them and and also to get some real heartwarming moments. Well, I'm always looking forward to a new season. Premieres Thursday, 8:30 p.m. on Seven. Bernard Curry, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Aaron. Much appreciated. No worries. Bernard Curry, host of Beauty and the Geek Australia. That is all for this podcast. Plenty more still to come. So until then, I'm Aaron Ryan for tvcentral.com.au. See you then.